Isaac Kotek, aka Subaqueous, and in this video we're going to be talking about sounds from space. <laughs> and using Ableton Live's wavetable. With the new updated 10.1, you can use custom wavetables in Live. And I went ahead and collected a bunch of sounds from NASA. Uh, their recordings from outer space. Yes, sounds from space. I know. <laughs> I talk about that in the article. You can find the link in the description. But basically, these are interpretations of radio waves as well as radiation turned into sounds that we can use. Released from NASA. I'll have all the links. You can check out this huge library of stuff. And I made some wavetables out of it. So let's check it out in Ableton Live. All these sounds are those recordings from NASA that I went ahead and put into wavetables. <laughs> I've used some processing and things to make them a little bit more interesting. I'm going to show off what these instruments look like and how we can use them in Ableton Labs wavetable. To start, here we go. We got the samples, but we've got the sun, solar sounds. Love that one. Got some Kepler star sounds, all with weird beatings and things like that. And I really loved using this one, Godspeed from Mercury 6. Godspeed. And I went ahead and when you put that in a wavetable, <laughs> it's really cool when you navigate through the table. I'm just gonna right click, insert a MIDI track. And on this guy, I'm gonna go ahead and go to Instruments, Wavetable, drag that in. Once I have this here, the way that new Live 10.1 works is awesome. All you have to do is grab whatever sample you like and then drag it into the wavetable. And there it is. And that's it. It's that easy. Just drag and drop a sample. And you can scan through it. You can see that this bounces around a little bit because the actual wave, if we look at it, kind of has a little bit of movement going on. But if we go with something a little bit simpler like the sun solar sound, We can scan through that wavetable super easily. Now, one of the keys of this is this raw button right here. It makes it very easy to drag and drop things in. Now, if you want to hear the original sample and see what that would look like, it'd be like this. Now, you'll notice it kind of, you get all this weird phasing and stuff because it's not chopped up in a way that it's easy to move through. That way, if you disable it, it automatically cuts it up and makes it pretty smooth, pretty good job with a lot of different sounds. I love using vocals on this. Now that we looked at that, let's look at the actual presets. All these presets are going to be for free, by donation. You can go ahead and download them. They're right here. Now, some of them I have arpeggiators on it. Don't worry about that. That was just to work with the MIDI that I've got. So in this instrument rack, I've dragged in the different samples that I want to use. You'll see their name right here. One cool thing is in this set, if I open this up, I can actually see all the different possible samples within this set to use as a wavetable. So I have things like these different controls, control the filter, LFO amount of that filter, as well as have reverb, delay. You can do cool things there. Saturators and stuff like that. This does begin to really change the sound from the original, but if you turn a lot of these down, you start hearing a lot of what the original sound would be like. The next one's pretty cool, it's the EMF waves from Earth. So basically when Earth has electrical storms, lightning, it actually can be picked up and you can get recordings out of that. And that's what this was from a probe. So let's hear this one. And I added some cool delay and things like that to give it this really space agey sound. We can see the waveform here. And what I set was on the LFO2 for it to be random, so basically every time I play this, due to my matrix, right? Every time I play this, it starts at a different place in the waveform. I love that, because it gives it this really randomized, always changing sound. And the next one, we got the sound of Saturn and its moons. This is a pretty fun one. It's just scanning through that. Taken from, I think, a Voyager probe. We have our different effects, just like the rest of these. We've got the Kepler star, 
This one I really liked because I actually layered two different stars and made it kind of this quick plucky sound. Then we have another sampled voice, Godspeed, very famous recording. And you can change the speed on this one with this dial. Nice, and then you've got different parameters to affect that sound. Then we got another one, which is one of the most famous recordings from the Apollo mission, which is Houston, we got a problem. A little hard to hear, but if you pay attention, you can definitely make it out. Same thing, I've got a speed knob here. What I did for that is I just used the envelope two, and it's the speed of the attack. So if we look at the matrix, oscillator one position, this guy is moving comparatively to that. So whatever that speed is, it's the speed in which it'll play and move through that waveform. Lastly, I got a recording of this comet really smooth sound. I turn it into more of like a, I like to use this as kind of a weird hit, like a weird percussion sound. It also makes a really good bass. So there you go. That is using custom wavetables in Ableton Live with 10.1 update. I freaking love doing this. It's so much fun. Just that idea of the context of grabbing things from outside of our world and putting them into a wavetable is freaking awesome. I love this idea. And now with custom wavetables, you can do the same thing with all sorts of recordings. You can take wind sounds, electricity, sounds from the woods, animals, birds, put them in there and turn them into synths. It's really fun and opens up a wide creative palette. Check out adding these custom wavetables. I also have an article with a lot more information. You'll also be able to download this for free on there. Just follow the link in the description. And I also have links to other things like a bunch of other custom wavetables and things like that that I've created. So thanks a lot for watching this. Have fun. If you come up with cool ideas of using your own custom wavetables, let me know. Please comment below. I'd love to check it out. Until next time, continue making weird sounds.